Look, I already know. <laughs> you know this, but I'm just going to tell you, you have to stop masturbating. You have to stop beating off, bro. I, I'm telling you this as a friend, as somebody who's trying to help you improve in life. You need to stop. You need to stop watching the adult videos, the adult entertainment videos, videos of naked women getting knocked down by dudes that you don't even know and you don't even know the women. You, you have no idea what's going on. You're just a spectator. You're essentially a cuck. Like you have to stop. And I'm not coming at you from, from uh, oh, I'm greater than you and I've never experienced. I've literally had to stop myself Years ago, two years ago was the last time I really got into, uh, no, I would say a year ago, a year ago, give myself a year that I fully stopped and I haven't looked back. And it started when I was in seventh grade. When I was in seventh grade is when I, I discovered adult videos, naked women getting piped down on videos. I'm not going to say the word because I feel like YouTube is going to restrict it. Corn, the opposite of corn, right? You, you already know whatever rhymes with corn, but I call it adult entertainment videos just for the sake of this video but I, I remember I discovered it and you know the arousal got up and I was ready to go and I was like man like, how do I get this feeling out right and I naturally started doing that I started masturbating I started beating off because I was like oh this is the best way to get this urge out and you know when you're young you're that young your hormones are raging you don't know what to do, but I'd always been warned by my parents because, you know, they're religious. They were like, oh, don't do it. Demons are going to, you know, engulf you and you're going to be possessed and, you know, you're it's a sin and all that. And I was just like, OK, whatever. But this ur this this urge has to go away somehow. So I got into it, man. And I, I, the first time I did it, I was like, OK, this is great. And I just kept doing it every day. And I would even go twice, three times a day when I was young. And obviously, as as I got older, it waned down. You know, I've never had issues with women, so I can't say that that's the reason why I did it. I think I just did it because it was just a dopamine hit for me every time. It was almost like I was addicted. I have an addictive personality. So when I do something and it gives me a dopamine hit or a dopamine rush, I want to keep doing it. So for me, it just got to a point where I just kept going and I kept going. But I had this feeling afterwards, and you probably have this feeling as well. You get this feeling of disgust where you throw the phone out. Like you just don't even want to, you want to just delete all the tabs and act like you never did that. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a shame tactic that your, your mind, your body is, is giving to you because you're doing something that is almost cheating the process. It's cheating your evolution as a man. And, and I want to explain this properly. Like you're literally signaling to your body that you're getting sex. You're getting, you're getting play when you're really not. Like you're that guy that's getting an abundance of this when you're really not. You're attracting women and actually having relationships and sexual relationships when you're really not. You're just you're 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 on a screen. So your your mind can't really tell the difference between thought and reality. It can't tell the difference. So all the feelings that you have it, or it can't tell the difference between feelings and reality. So the feelings that you have are mimicking what reality should look like when your reality is not that. So you you inherently know that you're cheating yourself. Especially if you're if you're in tune with your and the fact that you have the awareness now, you're gonna see it. And on top of that, it's major cuckery. You're watching another man pipe down the woman that you're aroused by on a on a screen, and you're beaten off to it. Like, think about that. You're getting pleasure from another man getting pleasure from the woman that you want. How does that sound now that I've rephrased it that way? It's not you're watching these videos. You're literally a cuck. And you're wondering why things aren't working for you. You're wondering why you don't have any energy. You're wondering why you don't have any more confidence. All the soul is, your soul is literally ripped from yourself. Like the, 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 the radiation that you should be having as a man, the confidence that you, you should be having is drained from your eyes. People can tell you walk around just drained like a zombie because that's what you're doing. You're literally embarrassing yourself every single day. You're going against your own ego because you want instant gratification, which is the worst thing you can do. When you think about it this way, you're going to want to stop. Because that's, that's what made me stop. What made me stop was understanding that I'm literally watching somebody else get something that I want. And I'm just a fly on the wall. They don't even know I exist. This woman will never know that I exist. But I'm giving up my own 
powerful sexual energy. Your sexual energy is one of the most powerful life forces on planet Earth. In this universe, you, your sexual energy is so powerful. And the fact that you're wasting it on somebody that does not know you, does not feel you, does not have any, and you're, you're trying to create this bond with them. Because have you noticed, like, some of the, the adult stars, the women that you, that you watch, you start to go back to those same videos because all you're doing is you're, you're now, you're fake pair bonding with that person. It's almost like you're in a relationship with that person. You keep going back to the videos. Really, you're in a relationship with that person and the person that they're getting piped by because it's a cut style situation. You keep going back. And you keep remembering that person. You keep going back and you form this like paras parasocial relationship with them, which is the worst thing you can do. But when you start understanding it from that context, you stop. And then in real life, you stop having that desire to go actually get women in real life. You don't want to go have conversations with them. You're, you, you're shy. You don't want to talk to them. Every time you see them, you just see an object because that's all you do is masturbate and watch these videos. So when you're in real life, you can't function properly. Your dopamine receptors are fried. When you actually somehow get with a woman, you can't perform well because you're, you, you don't have that same level of feeling. You don't have that same level of desire. It's been blunted because all you do is beat off every day. And you, you say it's in the name of health that you're, you're just trying to improve your prostate. That's nonsense. That's cope. You got to stop because the minute you stop, here's the thing. And even if you're not really good with women right now or women aren't, you know, you're not getting the play that you want. The reality is this is your time to get on your mission, because once you're on your mission, women will women will flock to you, bro. And you start improving how you look. You start improving your, your physique. You start improving your money. You start improving all these things. We know this already. Women are going to flock to you because they see you making progress. Money and women are very similar. Very, very similar. And it's not to insult women at all. This is just the reality. The more you chase money and women, the more money and women run away from you. The more you don't chase them, you ignore them and you, you chase your purpose, you chase your mission, which is essentially what you need to chase, they'll come towards you anyway. So by you having to consistently chase your mission, you're always going to attract women. And by the nature of you, most men, they watch these videos and they masturbate a lot when they don't have a mission, they don't have a purpose in life. They're just, they're just drifting. They're just drifting in life. They don't know what to do with themselves. So they resort back to that. I would resort back to that if I did not have a mission right now. I kid you not. It's not something that I just completely remove out of my head. The desire would come back if I stay too stagnant for too long. So as a man, you have to constantly keep moving. You have to constantly be having a goal, something to strive for. The minute you have that, one, you won't have time to even be in bed doing that. The minute, when it hits 5 a.m. for most days, I'm up and I'm already at the gym. Or I'm, I'm drinking my, my 24 ounces of water with Himalayan salt and get, racing to get to the gym so I can get back, so I can start work, so I can start build, building the company that I'm building. On top of that, make the videos I need to make for YouTube. Engage with everyone who's commenting on the videos. Like, build out what I'm trying to build out, the product that I'm building out for my community that I'm building here. Like I'm doing all of these things. I have a mission. I have a purpose. I have things that I'm doing. I don't have time to be getting on my phone to be trying to see what this, this girl's doing with this dude and masturbating. I don't have time for that. And now when I'm with women that I truly, a woman, right? I, I, I think we all want to be with multiple women at once. Just find one that suits you, that you can, you can really like get your needs met with Build a connection with that person and you'll never need to masturbate again. I promise you, if you need to masturbate while you're in your relationship, you're not supposed to be with that person. That person is not fulfilling what you need. You need to get out and go find somebody who can actually fulfill that aspect and all the other aspects that you need. Period. Point blank. So for me, it's like if, you know, if I already have that, what's the desire to masturbate? Why do I need to do that? So you need to start building these building these fortresses up next to you so that you don't drift into that that cycle again and by changing your mind changing the, your perspective of of masturbation now and watching these videos the cuckery the the virtual dopamine hit that you have it, it's the same as playing a video game i told literally like you play a video you play a video game and it's to have the simulation that you're building your character 
but you're really building a virtual character. You're not building your real character. You might as well play that video game in real life. If you're watching videos like that of these adult videos and you're masturbating, why don't you just go find a woman to like have that experience with? Why are you stuck under a screen? And then you get scared to talk to women and you wonder why. And you see women as objects. You can't speak to them because all you're doing is you're looking at how they look. And that's all you can think about. That's all you're focused on. And by the way, women know when that's what a man's focused on. You can't have a productive conversation. You can't have an intellectual conversation with them because that's all you think about. So you say stupid things that basically turn them off and you wonder why you can't get women. It's, it all stems back from masturbation and watching these adult videos. And that's what I'm telling you. You need to stop. And the way that you stop is by being aware of it and by, by striving for a mission and, and occupying yourself with action throughout the day. Being relentless, being ruthless with action every day. Your day should be filled with things that are moving your life forward. Right? Your day should be you going to meet people, going to meet women. Even if it's like, like you're going to Target or you're going to a store, talk with the woman cashier. Even if you're not attracted to her, just have conversations. Learn how to like be social. Approach women when you go places. Be the one that goes and talks to them. I guarantee you the minute you stop watching and masturbating and doing all this stuff, you're going to start having the confidence to go speak to women because you're not going to start seeing them as objects and, and on a pedestal because that's essentially what you did when you were watching all these videos and masturbating. So you gotta really stop this, man. And I hope this video kinda helped you. This wasn't an in-depth, like, how-to technical video on like what you need to be doing because I believe that if you have the awareness and you have the framework that I just gave you, there's no reason why you couldn't stop just like I did. Like, I don't have any remote desire to go back to that right now as we speak. Like, nothing. Somebody could tell me this video, I wouldn't care. Because I have what I need. So watch this video, watch it repeatedly if you have to, and I hope that this helped. Comment, like, subscribe, send it to a friend who you know is struggling with this, but they don't want to tell nobody. My whole goal on this, on, on this platform is to talk about things that, honestly, us men don't really want to talk about in real life. The things that you don't want to say, I'm telling you, so you know. I want to bring this up because I've gone through most of the stuff that I'm talking about, and I already know what the action steps are needed to do. And I've never lived my life on steps on like, oh, give me like step one, step two, step three. I've lived my life on frameworks. I've lived my life on, on just understanding the, the principles and the philosophies of why these things are good or bad. And it's allowed for me to apply it in every area of my life. So that's what I want to do with this page. This is what I want to do with this channel is to give you the philosophies, the blueprint, the, the, the actual frameworks of how to do things. So you don't need to be relying on a step one, step two, step three. You're not a robot. You're a human being. You need to have your perspective changed and you need to have a framework around how you do things. So that's why we have this channel to teach you the framework on fitness, on, on, on relationships, socially, financially, building a business frameworks on on spirituality how you should look at it because i'm not going to tell you there's no there's no one way for anything there are many different ways for your diet there's many different ways that could work for you but you just need the frameworks and that's what we're here for so again i appreciate you sign up to the free newsletter that i have mine and martel we talk about all this stuff in depth every week tap in with me appreciate you and hope to see you on the next video